So I want to start talking about cells, how they work, what is inside them that helps them work, and how they actually run. So we're talking about typical cells today. Now there are five different kingdoms of living organisms, okay, or six kingdoms, sorry. You have bacteria, which take up two of the kingdoms, archaeobacteria and eubacteria, and they are very, very simple cells. They actually don't have any of these things much that you see listed on the slide here. We'll talk about those differences at a later time. You then have fungi, you have plants, you have protists, and you have animals. Those are different kingdoms of living things. Those four kingdoms, plants, protists, fungi, and animals, have organelles. Organelles are literally little structures inside cells that help cells work a lot like your organs work in your body. You know, your brain runs your body and your stomach digests your food and your intestines get the nutrients from your food into your bloodstream and your heart moves your blood around your whole body. Well, organelles, that word literally means tiny organs. And these organelles that you find in those four types of cells work like your organs work. Some of the organelles are pretty much typical, no matter what kind of cell you're looking at. And those are the ones that are listed here in the middle. Okay. So what we have up here, I don't have any protist. I don't have any fungi. I have an animal and a plant. And everything here in the middle, vacuoles, nucleus, cell membrane, mitochondria, endoplasmic reticulum, you'll abbreviate that ER, Golgi apparatus, cytoplasm and lysosome, you're going to find those organelles in all types of cells except bacteria. Then some of these cells have little specialized things that only belong to them. So an animal cell has a centriole, but plants do not. Plants have a cell wall and a chloroplast. Animals don't. So while there's a lot of common organelles that you're going to find in any typical eukaryotic cell that does not include the bacteria, that is plants, animals, protists, and fungi are the eukaryotes, okay? They will always have these organelles here. And then different types have some specials, all right? So plant versus animal, these would be considered typical cells. Animal cells have centrioles, while plant cells do not. That's what's different about them. Plant cells have cell walls and chloroplasts, while animal cells do not. That's what makes them a little different. And the other organelles that were listed, those in the middle, again, the other organelles are found in both. So again, these are typical organelles. We're going to be learning about the functions of each of them. We'll also be talking about whether or not they are found in only certain cells or in special cells. And that's what we're going to be talking about for hmm, quite a little bit now. All right, so a typical cell. Again, that's what we're talking about when I say a typical cell. 